Red Dead Redemption 2 is getting more content this year. It seems like the support for the game has not yet come to an end. I will talk you through everything you need to know about it right here in this video. And of course, I will keep this video as short as I possibly can. Rockstar Insider Chris Klippel states that there is a Red Dead Redemption 2 next-gen port on its way, meaning that we will be able to play Red Dead Redemption 2 in 60 frames per second and 4K resolution. What he adds to this is that there has been a delay for this specific port because of the Red Dead Redemption 1 Remastered Edition, which we of course covered in my previous video. So in this tweet, Chris is clearly talking about a port, not an update. And we of course recently got a GT5 Expanded and Enhanced Edition, which was not a free update to the next-gen consoles. We had to repurchase the game in order to play GT5 in 4K and 60 frames per second. And since Chris states it is a port, it is likely that the same thing will now happen for Red Dead Redemption 2. Meaning that yes, Rockstar Games will probably let you repurchase the game to play it on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X or S with 60 FPS and in 4K resolution. And to be honest, I think this is very sad because other companies like Ubisoft, for example, update Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs Legion for completely free to next-gen consoles consoles so we can take advantage of all the new technology. But it looks like Rockstar Games, just like the Grand Theft Auto 5 Expanded and Enhanced Edition, wants you to show your wallet once again. And then of course they would market it as Better Redemption 2 Expanded and Enhanced. Well it's not really expanded, but only enhanced. But I also kind of get it, because Better Redemption 2 is simply a masterpiece when it comes to the story, when it comes to the open world. It is a game that you would get really, really Really emerged in and I think loads of people would go ahead purchase the game again just to experience the story yet another time because let's be honest even in 10 years people will still say Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the masterpiece titles and it probably never changes and this could change the entire Red Dead Redemption franchise since it could follow the steps that GTA already did like for example making GTA online a standalone title and even making it free to play on the next gen consoles. Keep in mind though, this could happen to Red Dead Online as well, where the online version is actually free to play and is a separate standalone title. And Red Dead Online being free to play, that would of course mean more players hop into the online mode to try it out and for Rockstar Games there's more potential customers to spend money on microtransactions. And if they really want to keep that audience engaged, which is now bigger than before, they're more likely to actually come with DLCs and updates in the future. I really think that would create a situation where the players of the Red Dead Redemption game, but also Rockstar Games, both are happy at the same time while the game is thriving and we're finally receiving more content inside of the game itself. Because let's be honest, Red Dead Online has been dry for quite some time now and players are just not as engaged as they originally were. Where of course Rockstar Games is mostly focusing on GTA Online since that is their biggest audience. It is really what I'm hoping for us Red Dead fans because of course GTA Online does have more potential because they can add modern cars, modern vehicles, they can add so many different things and Red Dead Redemption is of course still a western game so in that case it is a little bit limited but I'm still hoping for the best and of course I will be playing RDR2 the official next-gen port before it officially comes out just like how I will be playing all the big AAA titles that are coming out before the release at the end of this year so I would really like to know from you guys, would you buy Red Dead Redemption 2 once again just to play it on the next gen consoles in 60 FPS and 4K resolution? Of course, let me know down below in the comments. If you like these short to the point videos that don't waste 8 to 10 minutes of your time, make sure to hit the like on this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to see more Rockstar Games and open world gaming videos right here on the channel. Super important, do turn on all those notifications to do not miss out on my daily Rockstar videos right here on the channel. And of course, I will see you in another video. There's two on the screen. Make sure to click one of them. My name is Cheese. I'm out. Peace.